Dr. Umar Johnson says black men are to be blamed for the BBL epidemic because they constantly sexualize black women. Just watch the video. All right. So what I was going to say was that I think a lot of women make decisions, A, for, for themselves, and B, to impress their friends just as much as a man. Tell me about the... Okay, go ahead. That's just what I'm saying. You like, said I, impress their friends. Yeah, I think a lot of women do things to like keep up with their friends and impress their... Are like, you telling me... You think women got the BBLs more to impress their girlfriends I didn't say more. than to be viewed as attractive as a man? I didn't say more, but I do think there's women. Which one leads? Huh? So what? Which one leads? Impressing I, the friends. I think impressing. I think to be for perceived themselves. As attractive. Well, I, I, I ain't got to be attractive. I think it's just for self esteem. I think sometimes women look in the mirror. Did you hear what he just said? But not so what? But for self esteem, Yadi. Right, for themselves, though. It don't have to be for another okay, man. Okay, but why is the self esteem low without the BBL? It could be based on your friends. No, it's based on the values of the culture and the society in which they live. And we got to admit something, black men. We have sexually objectified the black woman into a sexual instrument. And you know why this hurts me? Who's the number one sex trafficking victim in America right now, Yachty? Oops. Teenage black girls. I know that. 12 to 17. And guess what the biggest population is, queen? 14 to 17. They're the number one commodity on the international child sex trafficking ring, at least in America. So you got these. The hub? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Atlanta, Atlanta is the biggest hub big for uh, child trafficking? Uh, uh, Los Angeles is the okay. biggest in the country, but Atlanta is one of the top ones. The air, I think the airport here, they like, put sons in, that, like, in the airport. That wow. Is, like, the Which stuff. makes sense because Atlanta is the busy. Men really get blamed for everything. But black men really have it the worst because we get blamed for every fucking thing. Telling black women what they want to hear is very profitable. Dr. Uma just trying to get his female audience up, just like how Derrick Jackson did. I thought women get all those things for themselves. Now we getting blamed for it. So which one is it? Women support the BBL lifestyle and make other women feel less than if they don't have one. Men can say they want natural bodies and women will say who cares what men want. But yeah, let's blame the black man. If you are going to blame men for BBL culture, then women also have to acknowledge that they are doing it to get men's attention and not for themselves. In all honesty, they do it for the attention of certain men to get a funded lifestyle because they see their favorite women celebrities do it. It is really a victim mindset that all women have. BBLs has nothing to do with men. It has everything to do with women competing with each other. They want to be victims in all situations because it gets them their attention and sympathy. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.